Let's take a look at the improvements to routing in SOLIDWORKS 2016. Here we have a layout, and within that layout, in the floor, we have some rectangular ducting, which was formed using the routing command. Then we have some cable running through that ducting. Now, in previous releases of SOLIDWORKS, it wasn't possible for us to create the cable and the ducting within the same route. We'd have had to have two different route sketches for each one of those items. Now we can create all of this within a single route. All we need to do is just start our auto route command, select our connector, select where it enters the ducting, select where it enter, exits the ducting, and then finally where it terminates. If we go to our edit wires command, we can see the cables that have been created. As we select them, they highlight in the graphics area to so the route they've taken. Um, as you can see, we also have a length value assigned to each one of those cables. The next example we see is with some rectangular ducting. So we'll just again start the auto route command. Okay, so we can now use the auto route command for our rectangular ducting. Just select the two endpoints and it will give us a choice of an orthogonal route. We can choose the one that's most suitable and then adjust it. I'll then just drag on a couple of crosses. And just using our sketch commands, we'll just complete this route. So very quick and very easy. final example is with this camera chassis. So I've got some connectors placed in there already. We'll just go ahead and start our route. Now the route will take the flexible cable as its type based on the C point. We'll add our second connector to the route. And the improvement we see here is that if I click on the endpoint of the stub that's created, we see the new triad tool appear, where I can drag the length of that stub to the desired value. I'm then just going to join the two stubs together using my sketch tools. And you can see it puts the fold in the feature for me automatically. Spinning this around, I'll just add these two connectors to the room. And then we'll use our and then we'll use our auto route command to connect the two together. So as we do that, it creates a spline for us with various points along it, and on those points we see a center line which allows us to define the twist within the cable. Now again we see these white dots appear. If I click on one, it will bring up the reference triad, and then I can just use this triad to twist those cables to the desired value that I want them to be. As you can then see, I can complete the route and it's very easy for me to get the cable looking exactly how I want it. We've now enabled auto route for rectangular section routing. We can, write, we can route wires through cable tray and electrical duct. We didn't see this, but we can now apply a covering to rectangular section, and we can manipulate flexible cables much easier. We now switch to Ed for Make Controller.